I want to talk about where people get stuck in the process. So we start people from scratch. People call, they haven't filed any paperwork with the court, and uh, they hire me right from the get-go. And then the other group of people have are people that have started the divorce process and are somewhere in the process. Um, some And here's where people are getting stuck. Maybe they did their initial filing, summons and petition and so forth. Then they get stuck. Okay, what's next? Some have done that and then serve their spouse. And then they get stuck. What's next? Because that's where it gets more complicated. That's where you, you know, even if you did like the initial e-file through the guidance file or something like that, the, after this, now, now it's the, it's the formalities of the disclosures of the settlement agreement of the judgment. And that's really where people get hung up. They kind of look at those next steps. And I don't think they did that originally. I think they said, let me, yeah, let me, I get, you know, I heard I can do my own divorce. Uh, let me find out. Let me go to the court website. Okay. Let me, here's the paperwork. Here's a packet. Let me fill this out. They do that. And then they get it filed and then they go and start. Now they start reading on kind of the next steps and they're like, oh God, there's a lot more to this than I thought. That's where people will call me and we can take over at that point. The next stage where people get stuck is when, you know, at any time beyond that, maybe they've, they've tried to do their disclosures or they did their disclosures or they even went as far as doing their judgment and trying to turn in their settlement agreement and it gets rejected by the court. So I have a whole bunch of clients that we get probably a solid 50%. I'd probably, you know, if I took a look, it'd probably be really close, like 50, 50 or 60, 40. How many clients are new clients from the, from scratch and how many people are coming to me after they have uh, had their judgment rejected or they got stuck in the process? Um, so many so that I have a package for you. If you are uh, stuck in the process, I have a flat fee package price just for folks who got stuck in the process. and They want us to take over no matter where you're at, as long as you filed. I have a flat fee price, uh, package price. You can go to divorce661.com and look at our different packages. I make it very clear based on where you're at in the divorce. If you haven't filed yet, it's one package. If there's assets and debts and kids, it's another package. And if there's uh, we're just finalizing your case and doing a review and wrapping things up, it's another price. So I think clients like that flat fee pricing because they know exactly what they're getting into. And some cases take me longer. Some are really screwed up. Some are not so bad. It all equals out in the end. But yeah, that's where people get stuck. And I'm just, uh, just to share with you, I can take over your case, any court in California, as long as you guys are amicable and sign off, we're good to go.